Hello, hello, Ebenezer here. Can you hear me? Okay, well, maybe you can help me. Last week I did some science experiment. I made something called a, a, a telephone and I made it with strings and a cup and my teacher said, good job doing that. But she also said that I didn't do parts of the assignment and I'm so confused. I thought I had done it. I'm just trying to do my best to figure out this thing called pear deck. But it seems that some of the slides had audio and I couldn't hear them. Please help me figure this out. If it's not one thing, it's another. Hey, Ebenezer, you know, you're not the only one that had this problem. A lot of fourth graders couldn't find the instructions for their pair deck they did last week. And I'm here today to help you figure that out. And hopefully when you do your pair deck tomorrow for science, um, you will be able to listen to all of the instructions. So. I suspect that you probably um, opened your Pear Deck and you started your assignment and you saw the video that taught you how to make a string telephone and then you clicked through some slides and you might not have realized that there were instructions for you to do things like make models like these beautiful models. Um, there were also some questions for you to answer and some people like you, Ebenezer, just kind of skipped over all the activities. And I think I know what the problem was. I don't think you did it on purpose. I think maybe you didn't realize there were things for you to listen to on all of the slides. So, Ebenezer, tomorrow, when you do your Pear Deck, here's what you need to do. Anytime you see this little button that says audio included, that means there's something for you to hear on the slide. And you've got to click on these headphones to hear it. So let me show you what it will look like from a student's perspective. All right, Ebenezer, you're feeling kind of down today because you didn't finish your assignment last week and you're frustrated because you don't know what you did wrong. So here's what a Pear Deck slide might look like to you. If you see this little green, blue, bluish, greenish box, that means there's something for you to hear on the slide. So you've got to click down here in the corner on the headphones and it'll pop up and you can press play. Sound travels not only through air, which is a gas, and there you have it. Um, so last week you might have seen some slides and you might have thought that you didn't need to do anything, but actually, like this one, this one was blank. You were supposed to draw on it, but you might have seen this slide, Ebenezer, and thought, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. It's just a blank slide. What on earth does Miss Kipling want from me? Um, so it says audio included. That means that your instructions were in an audio file. So you can listen to them by clicking down here on the headphones. And it said, Now that you've learned how scientists can use models, it's time to create your own. On this slide, you'll draw an in so you could hear the directions for what you were supposed to do on that slide. So Ebenezer, a lot of fourth graders just clicked through these because I don't think they knew that this audio was here. So don't worry about it this time. It's just one of those things we're all figuring out about distance learning. But tomorrow, you've got another Pear Deck. And on that Pear Deck, you definitely want to make sure that you are listening to the audio on the slides. So. Thanks for trying, and now you know how to make sure you're hearing all of the directions on your Pear Deck. I hope that helped, Ebenezer. What's your name again? Ebenezer.